Xbox don't do off the rack, which is why they've got a number of finely tailored Game Pass plans, each of which is ideal for a different sort of gamer, including a pretty recent update to their service roster. So why don't we get those measurements taken down and figure out which plan is right for you. Now, if you're strictly a console gamer, then the first plan you should probably take a look at is Xbox Game Pass Core. If you were previously an Xbox Live Gold subscriber, then this is the easiest plan to sub it in for, giving you access to a lovely selection of special deals and discounts, plus all that multiplayer gaming that you could ever ask for at a pretty tidy price point. And of course, Game Pass Core is actually a major upgrade on the old Live Gold plan, because it actually gives you access to a sweet selection of Game Pass titles. Currently, there are over 40 available with Xbox Game Pass Core right now, including some big hitters like Gears 5, Grounded and one of my favorites, Controls Ultimate Edition. Nice. Oh, and just a quick reminder if you do ever find yourself between Game Pass plans, don't forget that free to play games really are free on Xbox. So you can enjoy the likes of Destiny 2, Call of Duty Warzone, Rocket League, and Fortnite without needing a Game Pass Core subscription. So if you are a console gamer who's just looking to sample that Game Pass experience or your real priority is just piling more hours into your favorite multiplayer games, then Game Pass Core is probably the plan for you and it's super affordable as well, costing just £6.99, €6.99 or $9.99 a month. Let's say that you're a console gamer, but you're looking for something a bit roomier than Core. Well, you might want to go with Xbox Game Pass Standard. With this plan, you get all the benefits that we just mentioned with Core, like access to online multiplayer and all those tasty discounts. But most importantly, you also get a significantly larger Game Pass library. And that means over 100 titles at your fingertips, ranging from the back catalogue classics of the OG Xbox and Xbox 360 eras, to some recently released blockbusters like Hellblade 2 and Diablo 4. Game Pass Standard also typically receives more frequent library updates than Game Pass Core, which means that you might want to invest in some extra storage space for all those juicy new games that you'll be eyeing up every single month. Speaking of, if you want to get the latest updates before anybody else, make sure you subscribe to our channel for our Game Pass update videos. As for the price, you can pick up a Game Pass Standard subscription for just £10.99 a month, €12.99 a month, or $14.99 a month. These days, though, some people prefer to do most or even all of their Xbox gaming on their PC rather than a console. I don't know, maybe you love the mouse and keyboard setup, maybe you just don't want to fight for control of the TV, whatever. Your own reasons are your own and they're all totally valid. And if you are primarily a PC gamer, you might want to consider PC Game Pass. I know, it sounds really simple, but let's cover it anyway. What's great is this plan gets you access to Game Pass's full library of PC games, which include clickable classics like Age of Empires and the Age of Mythology games, City Skylines 2, and both the Frostpunks, as well as day one access to all of the new PC Game Pass releases. And they even throw in the EA Play catalog for good measure, so you can add stuff like Command & Conquer into that clickable classics category, as well as some more modern AAA titles like the Star Wars Jedi games and Immortal tools of avium so you know they've really made sure that you can never ever run out of great things to play and then there's the riot games of it all if you fancy checking out the likes of valorant or league of legends a pc game pass subscription will actually unlock the entire roster of playable characters for you and of course you also get the full range of members deals and discounts that the other plans get as well so if you are all about keeping things pc well this one's definitely the way to go and it's only going to set you back £9.99 11 euro 99 or 11 dollars 99 a month and that brings us to the final boss of game pass plans the big one the full package xbox game pass ultimate with an ultimate membership to your name the world really is your oyster you'll have full access to the game pass back catalog and all of the new day one releases and all the riot games perks and all the ea play offerings as well not only does this plan get you a ton of games, but it also gives you a ton of ways to play them. Whether you want to boot up your games on your console, your PC, or even stream them straight from the cloud onto your phone or your tablet, or your PC, or your console, basically, if there's a screen within arm's reach, you've probably got access to hundreds of incredible games and Obviously, you'll also have the full run of the online multiplayer world, all those lovely discounts, and all of the Riot Games content too. Game Pass Ultimate really does live up to its name, so if you're an ultimate sort of gamer who just wants access to everything, everywhere, all at once, this is the plan for you. A month of Game Pass Ultimate costs £14.99, €7.99, or $19.99 a month. Like I said earlier, if you do want all the latest Game Pass updates as quickly as possible, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!